Hello and welcome to the video on calendars. Hi, my Twitter handle is Ravi Handa and you can use that to provide feedback. In this particular video, we'll talk about some of the basic terms which are associated with calendar questions. And by the end of the video, you should be able to do the following. Find out the day when another day or date is given. See, you get questions like 3rd of March was a Wednesday. Find out what will be 15th of March and stuff like that. You'll also be able to do stuff like what day of the week was 9 September 2001. Stuff like that. So let us look at these. First of all, the very basic terms which come in handy. What is an ordinary year? An ordinary year is your normal year which has 365 days. 365 days essentially means 52 weeks and one more day because 52 weeks will be 364 days. So there is one extra day. A leap year is when you have the 29th of February. That means an extra day is there or essentially 366 days are there. So this comprises of 52 weeks and two days. It is also important to identify which one is a leap year and which one is not. Any year where it is divisible by four is a leap year. Say for example, 1982. To find out the divisibility by four, you just need to look at the last two digits of the number. The last two digits are 82. Since 82 is not divisible by four, 1982 will not be a leap year. How about 2012? Well, 12 is divisible by 4. That means 2012 is divisible by 4. That means 2012 is a leap year. As you might have noticed, 2012 did have a 29th of February. 2010, well, it will not be a leap year because it is not divisible by 4 as the last two digits, 10, are not divisible by 4. So this check for a leap year that you just check the last two digits works in most cases except for perfect 00, zero that is 1600, 1700 and so on which are the turn of the century or the end of the century or the beginning of the century whichever way you want to look at it. In those cases only perfect multiples of 400s are leap years that is 1600 is a leap year. It's a multiple of not only 4, but of 400. 1700 is not, 1800 is not, 1900 is not. Then 2000 is a leap year, but once again, 2100 is not. That is the way you can identify which one is a leap year or not. First, check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. That works in most cases. For perfect centuries, it should be divisible by 400. The concept of odd days essentially represents the extra days which are there. Say in a leap year, two days are extra, so it has two odd days. An ordinary year has one day extra, so it has one odd day. A century which will comprise of 100 years will always have 76 ordinary years and 24 leap years. So how many odd days will it have? Well, 76 for the 76 ordinary years and 48, which is 24 into 2 for the 24 leap years. That means it will have a total of 124 odd days. Well, 124 odd days is a little too much over a week. So I again divide it by 7. Once I divide it by 7, I figure out that it has 17 weeks and 5 more odd days, which essentially implies that a century will have five odd days. Another very important point to note, 400 years in a cycle in a leap have zero odd days. Now, another idea or funda so to say, which you can derive from it is, what will be the last day of a century? Well, for the first century, it will have five odd days or five extra days. So it will be Friday. How about the end of the second century? See, this one had 5. Second century will have 10 odd days, 5 into 2, 1 for each century. 10 odd days is the same as 3 odd days, which makes it a Wednesday. 
third and end of third century will have 15 odd days 15 is equal to two weeks and one odd day so it has one extra day which makes it a monday at the end of four centuries or 400 years we will have zero odd days well why does it happen that way zero odd days because four into five because five odd days per century four centuries that gives me 20 plus the one extra which comes from the leap year so the one extra which comes from the leap year for the fourth century will make it 21 odd days which is equal to zero odd days and that makes the last day of the 400th or the fourth century as a sunday and then the cycle will keep on repeating itself